To find out how extreme cold temperatures affect athletic performance, we first get baseline measurements of my reaction time and grip strength. My skin temperature is the same as the lab, 72 degrees, and my core, tracked by this core temp ingestible thermometer, is 99 degrees. To simulate the temperatures players experience while playing on the frozen tundra, we brought in an ice truck. When we're exposed to extreme temperatures, like 10 degrees in this truck, our bodies shift into survival mode. There's an old myth that half your body heat is lost through your head. So people think wearing a helmet would keep you warm. But in reality, you actually only lose 10% of your body heat through your head. So the helmet doesn't help much. To keep the body's core temperature elevated, our cardiovascular system pumps less blood to our extremities. In just 15 minutes, the skin temperature of my hands plummets to around 35 degrees. Consequently, my grip strength is cut in half. Yet even after freezing in the truck for over 30 minutes, my core body temperature hasn't changed. To help accomplish this, our bodies use glucose, a source of energy, five times faster than in warm weather. But this leaves less energy for performance. One reason my reaction times were reduced by 45%. And cold doesn't just affect the players, it also affects the football. In our tests, a football exposed to 10 degree temperatures for an hour actually got slightly smaller. Its diameter shrank by five hundredths of an inch, and its air pressure was reduced by over 20%. An underinflated ball like this has a lower coefficient of restitution. In other words, it's not as bouncy and will come off the kicker's foot slower. With all the evidence indicating that cold weather should be next to impossible to play in, statistically speaking, it doesn't affect the game all that much. In cold weather games, punts, on average, travel only three yards less. Passing completion percentage drops only 2%, and field goal accuracy only drops 1.7%. For Sports Science on ESPN, I'm John Brinkus.